But can you stop doing that shit? Why? Why do you want to keep doing dumb ass shit, bro? Why? You just don't want your wife to see? Bro, I ain't real shit. Stop, bro. Bro, turn the f***ing camera off, ah, bro. Stop no. playing with you, bro. You don't want your wife I'm to see? Bro, get out the car, please. It's because you're get married. Get out the car, please. I gotta get the car because you're I'm married. I'm not trying to put my fucking hands on you, bro. I gotta get out the car because you're married? Bro, shit, turn your... Bro, turn gotta your be, fucking... Be, phone off, bro. Gotta be quicker than that. Gotta be quicker than that. Gotta be quicker than that. Hello, hello, understanding. You is the problem here, you know? because you partaking in that. You know the man married, and you partaking in it. He's a piece of shit for actually doing it. Because why would you get married if you want to be out here? You hear me? If you married, stay married. If you want to be doing the dog and thing with them other girl and them, then just don't get married. Because she going to see that they know, and she go break up with you. And you know you partaking in the single family household. You is a shit, big face bitch. Me? What? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Okay. Get out. Okay, I'm gonna get out, but I'm gonna take my phone get with the me. Car, bro. I'm gonna take my phone with get me. Bro, I'm gonna mash up that phone and just throw a stack on it. Destroy that phone. Car, bro. Real stuff. <laughs> hey, I like that. Both of y'all deserve each other. Both of y'all deserve each other. Both of y'all deserve each other. Yeah, both of y'all are dunce. And yo, not everybody go tolerate that. Eh? Some people just actually wanna protect their, their marriage because some of them men and them who married to certain women, them men and them married to some rich girl and they don't wanna fuck that up. You go and try to expose that, you know, the man just clap you <laughs> and dump your body. Ali, Ali, bro. Ali doesn't think in it at all. <laughs> in 2024, can we stop asking men to take care of us and pay our bills immediately as soon as we meet them? As if they're obligated to financially make sure we're secure, fresh out the gate. I will never understand this. I hear the craziest stories from men how they'll go on a first date with a woman or their first conversation with a woman. And immediately she's making it a requirement and a standard to pay their bills and fly them out and take them shopping and drip them in designer and take care of their three kids. It's not even theirs. And this is the standard if you want to get to know me, let alone date me. I, that, that's, that's insane to me. Like, I can't understand that or comprehend because I feel like as a woman, you should hold your own and you should make sure your bills are taken care of on your own i'm all for a man leading and providing and protecting because that's what a man's supposed to do and a part of providing is of course making sure that his woman is financially secure but the key word there is his women mm. you mm. can't just meet a man he doesn't even know you i don't even know if you're gonna be together and the standard is you gotta pay my bills bro that girl and them like to beg that the default settings as soon as you meet them on the dollar now. oh shit bitch like, that's crazy to me. But if a man met you on the first date and the first night and he wanted to have sex with you, you would be appalled and offended. Doesn't make no sense whatsoever. You can't make this shit up. What's the lowest amount of money a man should spend on a wedding ring for you guys? 500 grand, okay. Okay? We need a mother rock on this finger. A rock, you hear that? I don't care if you're broke as Take your mama's life savings, take your life savings, take your grandma's life savings, and get me a rock. Take your grandma's life savings. English do English in, girl. What's going You done so. Rock! There is no price limit. Whatever the fuck I pick out, you're buying. Here! Yes. <laughs> what's, the, what's the wedding ring? What's your price? For you? No, no, no. For me, yeah. For you? Um. $2. Why would you get me like that? Like a thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I will go less, but yo. <laughs> Oh no, she make it like a cute What the fuck is this? Double income, no no kids, dinks. We're dinks. I'm gonna go to every pool. Uh Shamu. How you doing, Lan? Ball game and yeah, play 18 holes whenever I want. We're dinks. We're gonna get out. You going on top of that? You go break something, shut up. To every single family event, what well, we're doing with our life. Your genetic legacy has oh. ended. Ancestors have fought away in wars and battled saber-toothed tigers and charged the beaches at Normandy for the preservation of your genetic bloodline. You've decided, well, I want to go to Trader Joe's. I can buy all the snacks I want. Yeah. You fat. I'm glad <laughs> they're not having kids. Me too. I got three. Stupid. That's six. Hex, you done, sir. That girl and them rubbing off on you, boy. What did you get? Mm. I got the pineapple. What'd you get? The watermelon. It's really good. Nice. It must be nice. Wanna try it? No. No, I'm good. I'm good. Can I try yours? Oh, why? Wow. I knew that was coming. See? I knew that's why I said, I said that, 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 that's really... Bro, that does piss every man off. And I feel them girl and them know you don't piss us off. They know because they just do it constantly. If I wanted what you have, I would have get what you have. And I said, well, I don't want what you have. And I don't want to share mine. You all just keep, I don't know you never. Know, it does make me want to just... One, two, three, four! You know what I mean? He always comes back is not a flex. Of course he's going to come back to check if you're still stupid. Oh. Were you silent? Or were you silenced? Before I get away, don't move your mo- Get it! Hey, I don't know about them kind of thing and them. I'm a nice guy. 
That's not funny! Rotted! Boom! Car fucked! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I didn't know what he what he did. <laughs> I would rat it. Men who cheat on their girl deserve to die. Death. I think anybody who cheats in general, they don't deserve death, but they don't deserve love. Anytime, ever. If a cheat, she belongs to the streets. Yeah, <laughs> and I stand on that. Tristan Tate. That's called like you Andrew out. Tate type shit. His brother. Okay. Called you out. Don't on know it because him. Stop the cap. <laughs> Internet is your life. You know who he is. He basically said, how would it look if I were to make a tweet that said, women who cheat on their men deserve to die? Do you think that there's a double standard? No, I should have said everybody, but I think women typically don't cheat. Women are just naturally loyal and want to be with one person. Put your thumbs down button on this shit. What's your age? I'm 42. I'm almost 29. Are you both single? Oh, yeah. Yes. Why do you think that is? My ex decided that when we moved to Miami, he liked the Latina flair and recently married the 28-year-old Cuban mistress. Really? How did that make you feel? Like shit. Not so great in the beginning, but now that I'm free, I'm kind of loving it. The male vibe is very real. But do you think it was easier for him to find a younger, hotter girl than it is for you to find an older, richer man? I mean, I'm not looking for older or richer right now. I'm looking for whatever, you know, appeases my appetite at the moment. But of course it's, you know, for him I think it was easier because I was also pregnant at the time. Oh no, bro, what the hell. If she leave, you fine. But if you leave her while she was pregnant, that's kind of fucked up. I mean, we could tolerate a lot, but I don't tolerate no man breaking up with me. With our third child. Co-parenting is good. I finally met the wife. She's lovely. She loves my babies. And so we're trying to kind of do the whole like blended family thing. At least she's not bitter. So actually, yeah, I like her. It's fine. She'll find love again soon. Hopefully she does. Yeah. I could cheat with no emotion. Okay, and what I think correct. You cannot. You have to like that guy for you to even consider opening your legs for him. He ain't lying. No, no, nah, 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 she can't cheat with no emotions. You can't do anything with any emotions. Women are s with their emotions, and I'll mm -hmm. explain to you why. In order for you to open up your legs and allow someone to dominate you, because that's what happens when you have yeah. sex, in order for that to happen, you have to like that man to a degree. Yep. Not to a high degree. You don't got to be in love with him. Yeah, but you have to. Come. Okay, so have sex with Dan the man right now. He's the intern. No. We're going to stop. The oh, exactly. exactly. A lot of people got something to say about the fact that I got. <laughs> Y'all play too much. Six kids with six different men. Damn. So I'm just gonna tell y'all why it is better to do it this way. If I had six kids with all the same dude, I get 34% of his income, which is only 680 a month. If I got six kids with six different dudes, I get 17% from each one of them, which is 340 a month from each one. $340 a month times six baby daddies is 2,040. That even enough? Two thousand and forty dollars to my six kids. What kind of 